In this tutorial, we will learn how to use texture and light baking in SimLab Composer. Here we have some parts of furniture needed to be embedded in 3D views on the web and shared as 3D PDF files as well. We will use texture and light baking to increase the quality of these 3D outputs. Let's start with texture baking. If we hit F4 button to start the real-time renderer, we will see how the model should look after baking, so we can adjust our lightning and environment settings before we start baking. Whenever we get happy with the render results, we can stop the renderer by hitting F4 button again. Then we go to the baking menu and we select Bake Objects. We select the objects we want to bake. In the Baking Settings dialog, we can choose between Texture and Light Baking. For now, we choose Texture Baking. We have several options here to adjust the quality of baking. We can define a range for the texture size from here. SimLab Composer will choose a suitable size of the new textures for each object within the selected range. Smart Baking will fix any normal issue during creating the new texture coordinates. We can define a suitable SPP for our scene. Higher SPP means less noise in textures, but higher baking times. We have the option to limit the polygons to be baked at once so it may break large objects into smaller parts. Click on Bake to start baking. We can see that SimLab Composer renders each object in the scene individually and applies the render output as a new texture on it. As we can see, Texture baking simply renders the appearance of objects into new materials, so the final look of the object can be viewed on any 3D output that supports materials such as 3D PDF files, WebGL, VR, AR, and even normal 3D files. We can show or hide the baked textures from the Baking Settings menu. To export into 3D PDF, we go to File, 3D PDF, then we click on Export. We can clearly see the difference of quality between baked and unbaked 3D PDF files. Now let's move on to light baking. Light baking steps is very similar for what we did in texture baking and it has pretty much the same settings as well, however the output of the light baking is different. In light baking, instead of rendering the whole appearance into new texture, it calculates lightning and shadows information only and applies them on top of the objects without affecting the materials. As a result, in light baking, we can change the materials underneath the light information. However, on texture baking, we can't. And that gives us the ability to create 3D views that contains different options of materials. Light baking is supported in WebGL and VR outputs. To export WebGL view that can be embedded on the web, we go to File, 3D WebGL, then we click Export. Or we can use SimLab Cloud Sharing to upload and share WebGL files directly from inside the Composer into the web without any coding or server work. We click on Share to SimLab Cloud. We click on HTML. Then we fill the information. Then we hit Upload button.
Now our 3D view is shared and embedded in this page. You can learn more about baking, the benefits of it, and where you should use it by following the link in the description.